Do you ever bag up your recyclables but forget to remove the bag? We all know that plastic bags are bad for the environment, but they're also bad for our recycling program scores. The City of Stillwater's recycling program functions this way. The City picks up your recycling carts and takes them to a third-party facility who has a set of guidelines and requirements for items it accepts. Acceptable items include paper products, cans, cardboard, glass, and certain number plastics. Due to industry constraints like tightened standards for materials accepted, municipalities and commercial businesses alike are having difficulty keeping up with the latest recycling rules and educating their customers about what they can recycle. Plastics specifically are one of the most difficult to recycle because not all types of plastics are recyclable and recycling rules regarding plastics vary from city to city. Recyclables are hand sorted at the facility, and whenever items that are not accepted are found in the loads we drop off, the city is charged a fee. This is the reason a rate increase may be considered when there's continued misuse of recycling carts, and we don't want this to happen just as much as you. So here are a few things to keep in mind. Gallon-sized plastic trash bags and single-use grocery store bags are some of the biggest culprits in the list of unaccepted items in our city's recycle carts. Plastic and metal hangers are also not accepted and should be thrown in your trash cart. If you'd like to bundle your recyclables in your home before throwing them in the cart, we suggest placing them inside other approved recyclable items. Glass recyclables must go in a separate city-issued tote, which is included in your waste management fee. We thank you for taking the time to listen and learn about how we can improve our recycling program together. For waste management or recycling questions, contact customer service at 405-742-8245 or email customerservice at stillwater.org.